Welcome back to Sip the Tally Films. I'm your host, Coach Evans, and today we're going to take a look at the birthday boy, Big Za, a.k.a. Travis Jones, who is having an amazing season so far. And I'm going to throw some numbers out there to you, and these numbers are according to PFF. Uh, he's was He was dropped in coverage one time this year. Now, I don't know who ideal that was, but let's not do that again the rest of this season. <laughs> one time dropping in coverage was enough. That was that was um, enough. Last week he did actually did it versus the Commanders. Don't do that again. But he has uh, 12 total pressures, one sack, which I thought he had more than that, but I guess have a, one sack accumulated. And I know we have issues with PFF. I went to multiple sites, and the other sites have him with one sack as well. So I was just making sure PFF wasn't cheating. Um, nine quarterback hurries, two QB hits, and that equals up to his 13, I'm sorry, his uh, 12 pressures. He had 13 tackles. He got 11 defensive stops. And I wanted to give you the definition of defensive stops. PFF's definition of defensive stops are uh, defensive stops, tackles that constitute a failure for the offense. He has 11 of those in his um, tenure this, this fall. Travis has played in 252 snaps this year. 199 of those snaps have came as a B-gap player. He's either been playing three tech, or the two, or the two I, and demanding double teams and constantly whooping guard, center guard combinations. Let's get into what he did versus the commanders this week to warrant me putting out this birthday video to Travis Jones. And again, shout out to Travis Jones. Happy birthday, and I'll put happy birthday in the comment section if you made it this far in the video. Let's begin. <laughs> all right welcome back but before we get started take a quick second to like the video do that that helps the channel tremendously and if you don't mind go ahead and hit that like button while we get started but let's get into the, the travis jones versus the commanders video and i'll play the all 22 version and then we'll pop in and, and kind of dissect it from the end zone version and that's him right there and he don't make the tackle on this but he has so much effect on the play and let, let's show you how he affected this play because he commands double teams. You see him right there as the, as the B-gap player. And watch both guys. They take him. And now he they have to stay on that block because over the course of the season, no one person has been effectively blocking Travis Jones. And because they do that, now you can get Trenton and you get Roquan with free lanes. Look at that gap because the ball is supposed to hit right there. But you got Trenton coming free with but with the potential to be blocked by the other guard because he's going to leave him out of BK and you got Roe that can come free. They not going to leave Travis. The guard comes off and blocks Trent. I'm not really sure why Roe's not attacking that. I'm not really sure why Roe's not attacking that. I'm not really sure why Roe's not attacking that because both of those guys are still on Travis Jones. And I'm not really sure why Roe didn't attack that because Trent Simpson ended up making that tackle while both of those offensive linemen stayed on Travis Jones. Defensive guys, help me out. Put it in the comment section why y'all think Roe didn't attack that. But that's the, the impact of Travis. He commanded that double team, and one of your linebackers had a clear shot to shoot the gap. What well, probably was not his gap. I understand that you got to have gap integrity too, but once he crossed that line of scrimmage, you could have came in and made that tackle, and you kind of played back. Defensive people in the comment section, I'm open for you know for criticism. Help me out on that. Help me understand that more. Um, but let's go on to play two. But we talking about Travis Jones, not Roe here today. Moving on. Next play. It's third quarter, 13-39 uh, left, second and five from the plus 37. Got a big stop by Travis right there. Big stop by Big Zai. If you know who Big Zai is, you know why I gave him that name. Playing in the B-gap again as a one-tech. And the, the the guard tries to hook him, you know, trying to get on the inside to split him back. But watch, they don't move him. He gets some leverage on him, but he don't move him. Watch him play him off with his off hand. And he just stays flat, just stays flat, goes down the line, and now he just gets rid of the, the guard when he sees Austin Eckler coming down here. I'm going to play with you. I'm going to play with you. I'm going to keep my outside arm free. Austin Eckler cuts it back. Now it's time for me to go to work. Give me, come here. Come here. Come here, son. There's nowhere for you to go. Yeah, you got this first step on me. But I'm going to stay in my gap. I'm going to stay in my gap. I'm going to stay in my gap. I see the ball. 
The ball's right in front of me. And that was stupid of you to try to get that much leverage. You out leveraged yourself. But I'm going to make this tackle. Go to our next one. Second quarter, beginning of the second quarter, it's second and four on a positive 44 for the commanders. Travis in that big gap again, slant across the center's face. And again, they try to move him, but he gets penetration. And when the cutback comes, he's still there. Try to cut back on him, he's still there. He just gonna make a mess of it. He just make a, like old school coaches used to tell D tackles, just make a big pile and let the linebacker sort it out. He crosses the center face straight to the guard because they're trying to block down, trying to block down, but they don't move him. They don't move him at all. He takes the guard and really just shoves him out the way. And so now they've just made a big mess of whatever this pile was trying to be. The, the running back has nowhere to go and he tries to bounce it to the backside. But that outside arm still free. And he sees where the ball is. Now, right there. You cut it back right into a monster. You cut it right back to a monster. And you ain't going nowhere. Once he get his paws on you, you are going nowhere. Not at all. Now let's get to the highlight of it. His one sack. And this was huge because it was third and seven. And look where they at. They're on the positive 13 in the first quarter. They were driving. This sack was huge. And it's even more huge because look at what I think is miscommunication on the back end. Look at, I think that's Marcus at the safety up there trying to tell Brandon Stevens to do something. So there's some kind of miscommunication going on. That's why even more I think this sack is huge. But he fights through, because see, look at that. The miscommunication on the back end left a guy kind of sort of wide open, but Travis is going to erase all that. Travis is going to erase all that. Let's look at it from the, from the end zone view. He's definitely in the one tech now because he's in that gap. He's in that A gap. And he got the guard one-on-one. -on -one. I think this is the guard. Let me make sure this is the guard. He got the guard one-on-one. -on -one. Watch this club. Watch this right arm on this club. Yeah. And that's all the leverage he needs. Now he's just going to work half a man all the way to the quarterback. Study driving. Watch the hands. Watch the hands. They're trying to get that leverage. Now rip through. Rip through. There it is. Now attack the quarterback. Daniels has nowhere to go. No way to go. And Big Zoc came up with a sack, got his first official sack, and, <laughs> hey, it's on. This cat been playing amazing all season long. Uh, shout out to him. He's one of my breakout players for the year. I think he's really a lot of people's favorite D lineman right now. And uh, so happy birthday, Travis. Shout out to you. Salute. Keep balling out this year. And y'all could have been anywhere in the world, but y'all chose to be here with me. Remember the motto is film, then more film. So if you don't mind, if you've made it this far, like the video. Subscribe if you've not done so. Click that bell so you can be notified when the rest of these videos drop. And I'll see y'all soon, man. Peace and love. Bam.